Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this JMeter tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how we can make our request data driven using the CSV config element. So let's begin. So far what we have learned is that we were sending our JMeter request with the same set of data. However, in actual, your application will be accessed by different users and they will be sending a different set of data on your application. Now, you need to create your script in such a way that your script will be sending a different set of data every time or on every iteration okay in order to do that you can use a csv config element okay and for this tutorial i will be using some apis so you need to go to the browser here and you need to open instant web instant web tools dot net and from this particular website you can get some fake APIs for the testing purpose and the learning purpose so you need to click on the fake API then go to the rest API here and scroll down a bit here you will find a lot of APIs so we need to pick a API which will be sending some data so usually the post APIs are those APIs which will be sending the data so I am picking this passenger API this API will create a passenger using a correct passenger data okay and we need to map this into the JMeter right so let's go to the Demeter here and on the test plan level, right click on this one, go to add, go to thread groups, add a thread group here. Now right click on the thread group, go to add, go to sampler, click on HTTP request. And now because the APIs are basically an HTTP request, you can see that this is HTTP or HTTPS, right? So that's why we are using a sampler, which is called HTTP sampler, right? Now, what we need here, we need to provide a protocol, we need to provide a host name and we need to provide a path, we need to provide a method for this API and then we need to provide a parameters for this particular API. Okay, so let's go to our documentation here. So the protocol is HTTPS, I'm copying from here and let's go to the JMeter, paste it here. Now we need a host or IP name, so IP and host name is still .NET. So I'm copying this one from here and let's go here and paste it here. Then this is a post call. I'm selecting it as a post. And now what we need, we need a path. So the path is basically this one, right? Slash V1 slash passenger, right? So this is the path. Let me copy from this one here and just go to the JMeter and provide the path. Now what else we need? We need a body for this particular post call. So for that, I am clicking on this one. So here is the body. Okay. And it has three parameters. One is name, trips and a line. Okay. Now let me copy from here and go to the J meter and let's add a parameters here. So the first parameter is name. Okay. And the second parameter is trips. Okay and the third parameter is basically the airlines right so this is the airline and i am having this here okay and now what are the values so the dummy values are john two i'm copying this one from here pasting it here then we have trips which is 250 and then we have this a line which is five okay so we are ready with this request and i'm changing this request to api data driven testing okay and now what we need to do is that we need to add a listener and you need to go to this view results tree here okay now we have created a request here and i am saving this request here as api data driven testing api data driven testing so this method is not only applicable for the apis this method will be applicable for any kind of a request okay so i have saved this request and let's run with the single user and see either this request is working or not so let's run this one and see what happens so the request got executed successfully and if i go to the request here so you can see that 
the name is this one trips is this and a line is five okay now what we need to do is that we need to send this request with a different set of data okay for that what we need to do is that we need to go here on the thread group right click on this one go to add go to config element and you need to select the csv data set config okay click on this one and make sure you need to put this on the top as well okay now it has uh, multiple options here we have a name we have a comments and then we have this important data to configure the csv data source it has file name it has file encoding variable names if you want to ignore the first line you can do this you can use what kind of a delimiter you want to use so ideally if we are using the csv so we would not be changing this one this is a comma here and do we want to allow the quoted data so for example if there is any kind of data which is under the quotes so either we want to allow that data to be parsed here or not similarly we need to recycle at the end of the file if yes make it true if false so you can based on your requirement you can change this one as well then you can what what do you want at the end of this file do you want to stop the thread or not also you can share this with all the threads okay so right now first we need to do is that we need to create a csv file so let me go to the desktop here and let me open the excel here okay and we will be creating our set of data okay now what are the variables here so variables here are basically if i go to the request here so it is name copy from here go to here paste name what else we need we need trips okay copy from here and we need to provide trips and then we need to have a airline okay now these are our user variables okay now we need to provide a data here so first data is let's suppose testing funda one okay and sending the trips as 200 airline equals to five let me copy this one paste it here paste it here and to make it three let me change the trips to 300 here and let me change the trips here as 350 and you can have airline 5 and 5 okay so now you have created your data and now you need to save it as a csv file click on the file here and go to save as here and you need to select the file type here so by default it's an excel workbook you need to click on this one and you need to select a csv comma delimited here okay click on this one name the file here so i am saying this file as data driven okay and i am saving this file on my desktop okay so you need to copy uh, you need to have this format so click on this one okay okay and close this one from here save this file and saving this again so it's already being saved so yeah okay so now let's confirm this file so this is a data driven file and this is a csv file we need to right click on this one here and go to the properties and we can see that the format is basically dot csv okay so this is confirmed now now let's open this file to confirm either we have a data or not so we have a data here proper close this one now go to the jmeter here and go to the csv config element now click on browse and you need to traverse to that particular directory where you place this file so i have created this file on my desktop i'm opening this one uh, we haven't selected any kind of encoding if you have any kind of encoding you need to select the proper encoding from here okay and then we don't need to provide the variables name because we have already provided that in the sheet and this is false this is okay this is okay so now now we have imported our data file here what next we need to do we need to pass the variables into the request so let's go to the request here 
previously what we were doing is that we were sending this hard coded data so instead of this hard coded data now you need to provide a dollar sign okay curly braces and you need to provide a name of variable which you have used okay so i am changing here these variables actually i'm passing these variables here so trips now here we have airlines so again i need to provide the variable name a line okay so let's save this request so now we have a three set of data which we created so this means that i need to go to this thread group here i need to select this three from here okay now we are good to go with that and let's run this and see what happens now so api got executed three times and every time the request got success so let's open this request and see that now this is testing funda okay testing funda one and we have some trips so let me highlight this one yeah so trips is 200 airline equals to five then we have this request where we have testing funda two then we have this where we have testing funda three so that's how you can make your request data driven or you can make your request parameterize using the csv config file okay now let's go to the csv data config again and we have this option recycle on the end of the file okay so it's true now so what this means for example if i go to this thread group here and i change it to nine so this means that my request will go will get executed nine times however the point and the problem here is that i have only three set of data so now what happens so what happens is that the same data will be repeated for the next iterations okay so let's run this again and let's see what happens so till here we see that the data got executed previously now we have this testing funda okay this testing funda one and second to okay so this one here again you will find the same request okay so after every three data got consumed it will repeat so this is the way you can use this recycle at the end of the file okay so that's all about how you can make the request data driven using the csv data config file thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment and share and subscribe our channel See you in the next lecture.